What's good, y'all? It's OMA when you may sin. Welcome to Thoughtful Thursday, where we discuss topics, ideas, thoughts, philosophies, and anything else that may have taken place this past week. Let me know your comments below, thoughts, any other ideas, so forth and so on. Go all the way up, eyes to the sky. All right, boundaries. Are boundaries important? And if so, why? Absolutely. Boundaries are absolutely important, you know, because that tells you not just to yourself, but to other people, you know, um, your standards for yourself, you know, what limits that you're, you're willing to, I guess, whether it's achieve or be brought to, and you, you know, you're, you're setting that standard, you know, for yourself. And that, that's, you know, a common thing, you know, not just what we talk about, you know, who we are, but that's, that's life, that's progress, you know, and you can't have like happiness without being able to track your progress, you know, for your success, your intended trajectory, you know, because you could just be on a hamster, excuse me, on a hamster wheel, you know, not knowing where you're going to go. And because of that, that causes you to be complacent and, you know, and, and, and leads to like disappointment. But you, if you have no like expectations, you know, or standards for yourself, you don't know where that line of happiness is, you know, where to draw it then you know you're not setting a boundary for yourself so you know it's like we need a, a clear distinction between happiness and unhappiness otherwise you know you just go meander between the two you know have no real clear direction of where you want to go in life and obviously you know that leads to, to unhappiness and dissatisfaction okay and for those that don't know how to set up boundaries or, or have trouble in saying no what kind of advice can you give to those? I would say, first of all, everybody has a boundary of some sort because everybody has some sense of identity. You know, everybody has some sense of ego, you know, um, and because of that, you know, we at least have like an inkling of some kind of idea of, of who we are, what we're willing to, to do and what we want to set out to accomplish. You know, everybody has some kind of, of plan. And even if you don't, you know, look conversely at the opposite. Okay, so you might not know where you want to go, but you know where you don't want to go. And then because of that, you know, you could like use like a mirroring effect and see like, okay, well, if I want to be as far away from this place, you know, obviously we're basing your life based on fear at that point, you know, because we're, we're doing something because you don't want to do something as opposed to what you do want to do. But I feel like that's important, you know, for the sake of identity as well. You know, you have to know where you don't want to be to know where you do want to be, you know, in life because it's all a spectrum. It's they're conversely related with each other, you know. So I would say uh, focus, you know, primarily, you know, on your direction and your intention for your life. And when you have that in consideration, you have that clear focus and perspective. It becomes so much easier to say no to things, you know, because it's not in line with your vision of where you're trying to go, you know, so. That's what I would say, and if you can't focus on where you do want to go, then you focus on what you don't want, and then based on that, you could determine, you know, your course of action. I don't know if that, that helps answer your question, or... Um, well, what of the people that, that struggle with saying no, though? Like, you know, when... What's a... Okay, for example... Well, everybody says no, you know? Everybody says no to something. Just say no. Yeah. Okay, no. but I, I think I see where you're getting at, because we had a previous discussion before that. We talked about using alternatives. You know, uh, you know, you can say no with a smile or you shit, you could say yes, but then not do <laughs> you could you could do that, too, you know, but um, it's always good to offer alternatives. You know, it's like, OK, while we're not going to do this, uh, a no might not just be a no, but you could mean a, a yes for later. A no doesn't have to be a no forever. Quote that quote that I like that quote. A no doesn't have to be no forever. It could be just mean a yes for later. You know what I'm saying? So uh, while, it, yeah, like it might not be no now, it can turn into a yes. Or given these circumstances or a set of criteria, this is how we can change this thing from just straight up, flat out no to a yes. You know, so.